So for our verbs, we have amos in the present for we. Now, for er verbs, we have emos for the we, and for ir verbs, we have imos. This is the only time in the whole language that we find a difference between er and ir verbs. They're one group, but here, and it's the only time in the entire language, we have a difference between the two of them in the present for we. For ir verbs, we have imos, and for er verbs, we have emos. So, preferir, what do you think that means, preferir? Prefer. Good. To prefer. To prefer. We want to think with the two. Whenever the verb ends in an R, it's going to help us just to think of that as to. To prefer. Preferir. So how would you say I prefer? Prefero. Good. It should be prefero. Prefiero. Prefiero. It splits. Prefiero. He prefers? Prefiere. Prefiere. They or you plural? Prefieren. Good. How would you say we prefer and preferir has an ear ending? Preferimos. Preferimos. So there the ear doesn't split and also the I of ear is appearing in the endings for the first time in the present tense. Preferimos. Good. What was to come? Had something to do with convenient when things with come? Venir. Venir. And how would you say we come or we coming? Venimos. Venimos. Good. To live in Spanish is vivir. V-I-V-I-R. Vivir. Vivir. You might know this from Viva la Revolución. You might have heard that somewhere. Long live the revolution. Viva la Revolución. Or you might have even heard Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Long live Las Vegas. Vivir. To live. How do you say I live? Vivo. Vivo. Here, in Spanish, is aquí or acá. Aquí, in Spain, and acá, in Latin America. Everybody understands both. It's an extremely common word, so you don't have to worry. Aquí or acá. So, I live here. Vivo aquí. Vivo aquí. Vivo acá. Good. I don't live here. No vivo aquí. Good. But... He lives here, and let's stress that because we're contrasting. But he lives here. Pero él? Yes. Vive aquí. Good. Let's make it all together. I don't live here, but he lives here. No vivo aquí, pero él vive aquí. Good. And don't be afraid to try the soft B. If it's too difficult, then it's not a problem that you pronounce the V. Maybe you want to pronounce the V at the beginning and then see what happens. But the more you pronounce like how people are speaking around you, the more you understand. To know is? Saber. Saber. This Sa is a B. It's a B. Saber. Saber. This is a B. So you're not going to pronounce a V. Saber. So we have vivir, to live. We need to open up that association of the letter V to include that soft B. Maybe you look up the word in the dictionary for summer, which is verano or verano. Now, if you just program your mind with verano, maybe you won't get it when you hear verano. So it always makes sense to pronounce the words the way people around you are pronouncing. So if you are practicing Spanish with Colombians, take their accent. If you are practicing with people from Rio de la Plata, Buenos Aires, Montevideo, who have kind of particular accent, take that accent as well. If you're practicing with people from Madrid, take their accent. The more you speak like the people you're listening to, the easier you understand. Vivir, to live. How is we live? Vivimos. Vivimos. There we have the I popping up. Vivimos. But for the other versions, we're going to have the E. So he lives. Bebe. Some vowel harmony you're making there. <laughs> Vivir. The E is correct. But you change the beginning to match that E. Vive. Good. Vive. Before you said bebe. Oh. Huh? This is vowel harmony again. <laughs> yes. So you must consciously take off that ending, see what you're left with, vivir, vive, and put on your e. Vive. Good. They live, or you guys? Viven. Viven. They live here. Viven aquí. Viven aquí, viven acá. The word for where is donde. Donde. So how would you say where do they live? Donde viven. 
I want to know where they live. Quiero saber dónde viven. Good. Quiero saber dónde viven. Good. Entender, entender is to understand. Entender. We said we can use comprender as well, which might be easy to remember, but entender is much more common. How do you say I understand? Entiendo. Entiendo. Good. The E splits. Entender, entiendo. He understands? Entiende. Entiende. He doesn't understand. No entiende. Why doesn't he understand? ¿Por qué no entiende? ¿Por qué no entiende? Good. I want to know why he doesn't understand. Quiero saber por qué no entiende. Good. Quiero saber por qué no entiende. Good. How do you think you would say we understand? Entendemos. Good. So, for adverbs we have hemos. So, this is the only difference in the entire language, huh? Between adverbs and earverbs. For everything else, they are exactly the same. But for we, in the present tense, we get imos and demos. Vivir, vivimos. Venir, venimos. Preferir, preferimos. And then for adverbs, hemos. Entender, entendemos. Perder, which we said was to lose. So how do you say we lose? Perdemos. Perdemos. Good. The word for always in Spanish is siempre. Siempre. So how would you say we always lose? There you can put the siempre before or afterwards. Siempre perdemos. Siempre perdemos. We always lose. O perdemos siempre. 